Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I wanted to talk about the EWBM Golden Gate Security Key. This is the G310 model and this is the sort of device that if you look at uh, products say like the YubiKey and say you know what this is great but I want more security then this is the product that you are going to be looking at or something very similar to it. So this is a FIDO level two compliant device and those are very few and far between currently. If you'd like more information about the FIDO security levels, I'll leave you a document in the description down below where you can learn about all the different types of security. The one nice thing that this has that this does not is that it has a fingerprint reader that is built into it. It's not just a fingerprint reader that you would normally go out and buy that's powered with USB. The fingerprint is stored on the device, so it's not stored in the cloud or anywhere. So unlike something like the YubiKey, if I give you this key, you can log into my account as me. Even if I were to give you this, you cannot log in as me unless it is authenticated with a fingerprint. So this is certainly a next level up in terms of security. I will leave information on the web page that you can order yours from, but I wanted to quickly show you the setup process and uh, kind of look at the build quality overall. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and start by opening up the packaging. The key pretty much feels um, very similar to what the YubiKey feels like. It's got your uh, information on the back. It does have a serial number on the bottom for inventorying and all that stuff. Uh, it is does feel like a plastic shell. Very, very similar in build quality to the YubiKey. Let's go ahead and set this up. So we've got a bio manager that will help us write the fingerprint to the key. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into a USB slot and it has detected it. We'll go ahead and go add fingerprint and it wants us to set up a new pin. So we're gonna go ahead and do that off camera. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, I am going to go ahead and put in my thumbprint. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, the bio manager only has to be used to set up your fingerprint. We're going to go ahead and set up the security key. and it's asking me to touch the security key. I'll do that. And there we go, easy as that. So all in all, the Golden Gate key does exactly what it says on the tin. You can use it to log into a variety of different accounts to help better protect yourself online. And it is a, a unique key in the sense that it does require you for it to function. So this is almost one half of the key and you make yourself the other using this biometric uh, fingerprint scanner. Uh, the one thing that I did notice is that you do need to hold uh, whatever digit on there for a second or two. It's not like a tap and then you're in like you might be used to on a lot of smartphones. So just bear that in mind. Something that I kind of hope that they might work into a future version is that the LED back here is actually used to confirm whether or not the fingerprint has been read. And the way that I used this is I would stick it in and I would cover uh, like this. And then of course I can't see the LED. Uh, if they could somehow move the LED to this corner of the board, um, or maybe even put it on the side, I think it would make it a lot easier to actually see that indicator light and uh, know whether or not the fingerprint has been successfully registered and uh, identified. At any rate, if you've got any questions about this security key, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. As always, I'll leave the big four for you here. Please like the video, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so when other security devices like this are featured, you will be the first to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.